They're the exotic yellow fruit that we in the UK eat five billion of every year. But could bananas soon be extinct? Yes, unlikely though it may seem, they're facing an uncertain future because of a new strain of a fungus that they had been immune to, Panama disease. Well, here in Norwich, tucked away in an office above the playhouse, we've got the experts. Alistair Smith, the international coordinator of something called Banana Link. He works with growers and farmers around the world and says it's a serious threat. It's a new strain of that disease which has started to wipe out plantations in East Asia in particular and then it suddenly leapt to Mozambique in Africa, it leapt to the Middle East, Jordan. The big threat of course is if that arrives in the Americas and the Caribbean where the, the vast majority of the world tr world's traded bananas come from. Pretty much all the bananas we eat are known as Cavendishes and they are now vulnerable. It's news that could be heartbreaking for those around the world involved in growing and selling them. For 20 years, Banana Link's been raising awareness of the poor living and working conditions faced by plantation workers. Their team leads the way in helping them deal with the new disease and trying to find replacement crops. For several million people whose livelihood depends on it, mainly plantation packhouse workers but also small farmers in Caribbean and Latin America, they have no alternative. And if, if they're dumped overnight because their variety fails, then what alternatives do they have? Very few at the moment. Alistair says on average we each eat a crate of bananas a year. So what would life be like without the fruity phenomenon? They're very nutritious. Uh, a lot of people do like them. Easily to port and transport, easy to eat, throw away the skin. Well, Weight Watchers, so I can't eat sweets, so I eat bananas and apples, and I get bored of apples, so bananas are never depressing. I don't know what I'd do if they win, I'd have to slum it and have orange, I think, something like that. Yes, of course, we have no bananas. It's the tune that caught the public's imagination during the food shortages of the Second World War. Today, though, with no fungicide to fight Panama disease, we may soon have to start thinking of replacements for our beloved bananas. Mark Summers, Mustard TV, Norwich.